Hello everyone, in this video we'll be seeing how you can change your bank's details using the bot web platform from Alice Blue. So if you have an Alice Blue account and you want to change some of your bank details, we'll be showing you the method on how you can do this by yourself using the bot web platform. So go to bot.alicebluonline.com and log in using your Alice Blue account ID and password. And once you have logged in to the bot platform, you can see this is the main dashboard and you can get a snapshot of your uh, account. Now in the menu option, in order to change your bank details, we'll be selecting the profile section. So in the menu option here, you can see there's a section called profile. You can go to the profile section from here or one more method is just in the top right hand corner, you have your name account name given here just select on the account name and there also you can see the profile section both of it will lead you to the same page that is your personal profile page so here you can see your major details your name your client id your pan card number and all of those details will be available here which you can access and change it if you want so if you change your email address you can change it type it here and it will change within 24 hours but in this specific video, we're going to show you how you can request a bank modification or bank details modification. So as you can see here, first it already showing you the bank detail names will be shown here and the branch name and all of the details regarding your accounts bank. Now select the request bank modification button. So once you select it, you can see this new window opens up asking you for to enter in the new account number, MICR code, the IFSC code, and you have to add in also a file. So if you want to make a bank modification request, just type in your account number, then enter in your MICR code. So your bank account will have an MICR code. If you don't know the MICR code, you can always Google it or it will be there available in your bank passbook itself, which you can just take it and type it out. So when you get your bank passbook in the front page itself, where your account details will be given, your MICR code will be there. So take it from there and type it here. And then after you enter in your account number and then your MICR code, you have to type in your IFSC code. So the IFSC code, you can definitely always Google it from the uh, internet itself you can just google the answer and you will find it if you type in your uh, bank and your bank branch you can generally find it from the company's website the bank website or you can find it again in your bank passbook it will be there in the front page your IFSC code will be given and you can type that also here and your IFSC code and MICR code will be unique to your bank branch so be sure to type them correctly and then next we have here is the uh, this feature here which says you have to attach a cancelled check leaf or bank statement. So let here they have also given a sample. So let's select that and you can see this is what a sample check will look like. So this is a cancelled check. You just take a blank check and you just type in cancelled and you take a scanned copy of it, scan it and then attach this here. So select the choose file option and you can just attach the file from here itself. Just attach the file and then you can select the continue button. So if any of the details haven't been properly filled out, the computer will give you the notification. So in this way, you can request bank modification and any of the details that you want to change regarding your bank details, you can change it using this process. So it is that simple and you can just do this by yourself without having to worry about calling the back office or the salespeople. So thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel.